Hello, my awesome and amazing Aries. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Aries viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Power of number 10, number 7, and 5. Looks like we're going to the power of number 22. Some of you Aries could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio born in the month of October. Others of you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. You might be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. Others of you could be dealing with another Aries, picking up on Gemini energy again, Virgo energy, and also, um, let's see, Gemini, Virgo, Aries out of the power of number one. However, you could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January, and others of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces, born in the month of February. Some of you could have been born in 1950, 1951, 1952, or 1957 for my more mature audience. Others of you could have been born in 1970, 1971, 1972, or 1975. You could be 20, 21, 25, 22, or 27 years of age. Others of you could be 50, 51, 52, and or 57 years old. So that's what's coming up in the power of the numbers. But either way, going to the number 22 for the beautiful star sign of Aries, messages from your specific person. And 22, trusted ancestors of my Aries viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Aries person unto them? Show me what's up. Mm. The nine of wands. Okay, this person is at battle or at war with themselves. Something's going on with inside of them. Like they're in a form of a little bit of resistance because on the bottom of the deck, they definitely do want to reach out to you, or this could be unexpected communication. This person could also be at a distance from you, Aries, but this person definitely has been inconsistent in and out of your life. This also could have been a friends with benefits situation that was going on. So this person knows that they've been inconsistent, they haven't been reliable, um, but something is kind of beating them up on the inside. Well, it's probably because, you know, they're guilty. They're guilty of their actions. And they need to come forward with some kind of truth. Magician, Gemini, Virgo, and also Aries energy coming in. So this is about manifestation or this person is manifesting you back into their life, Aries. Justice card. Mm-hmm. There could be a divorce going on if they're dealing with a third party. Okay. Could be dealing with a Libra. They owe you the truth. I keep, I keep hearing that. They owe you the truth. This can also talk about child support payments. Page of Swords. If you two are connected on a social media platform, they've been spying in on you. They've been spying in on you, but not really making like major moves here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Yeah. 
they're tied down or bogged down and they're obsessing over you, but tied down to a karmic connection, or there could have been elements in this connection Aries with this person that made it very toxic and very karmic. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, they've been juggling. And in the past, they were juggling you and someone else. Could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn more specifically. This person's still juggling, Aries. They're still juggling choices or options in love. But they need to come forward with the truth or you caught them. You caught them in a lie. Or you saw the truth of this person. This person's intentions are just not, they're really not honorable. And I also feel here too that somebody's got a sex addiction. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of trust or loyalty in this particular connection. See what's going on in their environment. Yeah, there could be house arguments that are going on. If they're involved with a third party, there's argumentative. This is clarifying the nine of wands. There could be some argumentative energy or somebody is feeling lack. I'm also picking up a lack mentality. Yeah, they're dealing with the false person. And this person, Aries, was false towards you. They've been putting up an illusion of the type of person that they are. They project themselves one way to you and then they project themselves another way to another person. Um, they're controlling and manipulating things. There can also be a mother figure involved. Clarifying the justice card. A mother figure or family members could have been the downfall of the connection or there are family members that are spying in on your person or these are family members spying in from the karmic third party or you are spying in on them. Either way, there's a family involvement here. And these people, in some cases, like your person dealing with the third party, that third party's family I don't know if they're keeping an eye on your person or there's just a false sense of reality. That's kind of what it feels like. There's just a fakeness that's going on here. Clarifying the devil card. We have the thief. Oh my God. You might have felt like this person was a con, a con man, con woman. Just it, they're false. Somebody here is false. Your person was being false with you, Aries. They're being false with the karmic. The karmic is being in their la di da di da world, but the karmic is also false as well, including their parents or their family members, etc. There's a lot of imbalanced energy, and it's coming up more so in the distant horizons. You know what I feel, Aries, is that this person, they're delusional. <laughs> They left the golden goose. They left the golden goat, which is you. You are the goat, Aries. And whoever, whatever they're dealing with and however many people are involved with them or whatever connection, it's just a false sense of an illusion. And it's not a healthy, committed partnership. They weren't giving you a healthy, committed partnership, and they're not even giving for those that are dealing with that third party. They're not even, they're all on the surface. They're sticking around because of either money, social status, power, positioning, all of that. 
somebody is lying and the truth will come out. I mean, I have karma twice through the devil card and through justice. I can't stand energy like that. You know, this person you've been dealing with, Aries, has no sense of self. And if there are family members that try to break you two apart, these people are horrendous. They're vultures. And in some cases, you know, maybe some of you guys need to count your blessings. Because if you marry somebody, you marry into their family. You know, everybody thinks that the, the family's going to be all lovey-dovey and honky-dory and all of that. You know, these family members, either on your person of interest side or the karmic, they're all fake. They're all fake. I have false person up against a mature woman with the family room card. So, yeah. Right now, Aries, this person isn't entirely making big moves because they're tied or chained or bound. I replay our conversations over and over again. Yeah, because your person's feeling absolutely trapped in that connection with that third party. I don't react when people mention you. You know, some people may be asking your person like, hey, have you run into Aries? Have you seen so-and-so lately? They just kind of, right now, they're just shrugging it off. <laughs> but yet they're looking for your energy, Aries. They're wondering if they're going to run into you. You know, if it's at the local Target, Walmart, Barnes & Noble, if it's at the movie theater, gas station, bike path, who knows? But they're looking... You know, they're looking for your energy because either they have something to say. I think this person is also realizing how immature that they were. You and I were too young. In some cases, you guys had a very strong uh, longevity type of relationship that could have gone for well over 10 years for some of you guys. But the bottom line is a lot of times there was a lot of immaturity, immature communication, So many things remind me of you, and that's another reason why they're obsessing over your energy. But it's like they don't want to do a giveaway uh, towards the karmic to... They're creating an illusion with the karmic. Let's put it that way. But they don't want them to catch on that they still have feelings for you because I love you unconditionally. This person, I feel like your person, Aries, needs their head examined. I never expected to fall in love. Yeah, they never expected to fall in love. And then they were sitting on the fence because there was somebody else that they were juggling or had a connection with. Some of them went back to their exes, which was a huge no-no. Um, yeah. Yeah. I do feel like this person, Aries, put you on an emotional roller coaster ride, and it's been kind of difficult for some of you guys to just to kind of decompress or get off of that roller coaster ride. But, you know, I think for them, it was love at first sight. Um, they felt that, I think they feel that sense of security with you because you're bold, you're brave, you're confident, you're energetic, you're enthusiastic, but they didn't expect to fall in love. Because they never experienced real love. I am working on myself so I can come back. Please wait for me. So they are manifesting. That's clarifying the magician. They're manifesting you back into their life. Or they're manifesting for a way for the connection to come together. I never experienced this intense connection before. Yeah, because they've never had any better. They're getting mediocre over there.
and they're getting fake in-law type of people in their life. I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. It was too overwhelming. Your energy was too overwhelming for them, Aries, but that's that's on them, not you. You can't help that you're magnetizing. Come on now. <laughs> it's true. I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. They're afraid of making the same mistake. So there's a lot of insecurity that's also going on with them, despite the fact that they're still deeply in love with you. And they're juggling this circus act right now. I become apprehensive about being candid with you. Well, I think that's false with them. Because they did open up. They did express to you. They told you. For a lot of you, they told you that they loved you. This person was confused. Absolutely confused. And they had the wrong influence around them, Aries. That's on them, not you. But right now, it's like they're working on themselves, but they need to get out of this toxic connection. They're not in love with the karmic. I, listen, even if they're, even if they're married... Or living under the same roof or they're just boyfriend and girlfriend or girlfriend and girlfriend or boyfriend and boyfriend I have no strong solid commitment card somebody is a thief or a con artist in this connection that your person is dealing with or they're conning the third party it's gimme 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 you know, your person right now is showing me that they're a taker. They're a taker and there's a false sense of illusion, false sense of identity. This person doesn't know who their true self is. And I feel like in some cases, this person, Aries, really laid it on thick. They laid it on thick and heavy in order to win you over. But they still weren't being their true authentic self. But this is a circus act. But there will be, there is an impending divorce. There's control issues. There's spying going on um, and gab gossiping and whispering, especially among family members and crap like that. You know, it's just a hoopla. But listen, go find your bliss right now, Aries. Go be powerful. Go be fantastic. Go be fabulous. Okay? Because you're amazing. You're the first house of the Zodiac. You are the leader of the 12 signs of the Zodiac. So connect with that leadership with inside of you. Take back your personal power, personal control, perfect power, perfect control. Do not allow this person's uh, energies to infiltrate you. I know easier said than done when you feel like you know you're in love with somebody. But what are you in love with here? Because they they really did you dirty. I tell you that. They did you dirty. And when they went over to this third party, it's like, oh, pff, whatever. You know, they, they, they got themselves involved with the lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. We'll leave the energy like this for the moment until the next time I get around to the next Aries reading. So stick around. But in the meantime, my awesome and amazing Aries, if you really love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.